All right, it's Antline Alpha, and welcome back to Let's Play Bomberman Generation. And for before we get started, I want to show off something, and that's that you can actually uh, play any of the worlds you want, or any of the first three worlds you want when you start up the game. So you don't have to start with the uh, your green zone thing. Let's go into Sucker Hills. These levels are so weirdly named in this game. The top by the cliff. Climb up! Scale it! Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now, because I'll probably end up... It'll probably become obvious eventually, but uh, the first... Just the first ten minutes of this video are gonna be... Post-commentary. Because, for whatever reason, my mic decided to just be weird and get all fuzzy and staticky, so the audio was basically not usable anymore. But I, I recorded, like, this video in, in halves because there's, like, a, a break at the 10-minute mark where I had to go do something else. And the audio was fine for the second part. So, yeah, you still got your... Uh, Daft Punk enemies all around the world, around the world, in this level. And I'm just gonna go over these areas of the forest and pick up some Carabomb feed. And this is the all the forest you're gonna be seeing in this level, because we're climbing a mountain. We're scaling. Are you happy to be scaling? I am. I wake up and be like, boy, I hope I scale today. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Professor Ein. I would have just stopped there. I would have just stopped and been like, I I've done it right. I've accomplished my mission. I have no There's no fanfare or menu that pops up con confirming that I have completed the level, but I would have just assumed that I had beaten the level, but then, thanks to Professor Ein, he's like, keep going, I'm like, oh, 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 what am I doing? The level's not over. Thanks, Ein. Thank you, Ein. So yeah, these, uh, caves with the weird... I don't know what those are supposed to be. They're, they're, they're like the tablets on top with the big circle and the little circles. Oh, the, yeah. I was like, I guess I'll keep going and then be like, Alright, I guess now I've reached the top at this first end of the slope. Oh, keep going, alright. Oh man, what a helpful man. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, those uh, cave entrances with uh, where the boulders come out will have the like weird red-eyed tablet things at the top and... You can throw a big bomb in those, and they'll collapse and stop the generators. But if you throw a bomb in the ones where they, the boulders go in, nothing will happen. So yeah, we'll just keep on going up. I mean, that's what we were told to do. Certainly wouldn't have guessed that otherwise. Because every video game player is incompetent. And uh, those, uh, the bombs, like... Stall the those giant boulders, but the smaller ones, the bombs will just blow them up. And I think the, only the first generator has the has those like smaller boulders, so it's like, oh, you just wait, you just wait for the big business comes a rolling. You just huck it in there. Yeah, and there, there there's your morale to support you. Professor Ein once again chimes in. Because you surely, the game designers, there was a flaw in the programming which would psychologically translate into the player, convincing him that you have achieved all that you can do in this level. So they had to hire an expert programmer to, who advised Professor Ein's input so that the players would know that you could keep going. You wouldn't have known. Trust me, you wouldn't have known to keep going if Professor Ein wasn't there. What a hero. What an all-American... ...beneficiary. Okay. 
Yeah, you can't really turn the camera angle much in these levels, and a big leaf! Well, we'll have to do something with that leaf later. For now, let's just leave it alone. Anyway, there's a... Yeah, you can't really turn the camera angles much in this level, because it's... It's kind of... 2.5D in this level. Still 3D, there's like... 3D planes you can go, but... It's mostly just lefts and rights you'll be going around. It's just not it's not really as open in the, as the others. It's just kind of it's kind of maze-like. It's not terrible though. But like anytime you bro you blow those bridges up, uh, well, I, sh I should mention that the, the bridge right up there, and uh, or all the bri bridges rather. The, the you can see there's gaps in the logs near one side, and that the side that has the gaps on the the side that has the gaps between the logs will be the the side that you have to uh, fall down. Because if you try to fall down the other side, you'll, it'll just be like an invisible wall. So yeah, you want to do that, but anytime you blow up the bridge, there'll always be an another way to the other side. It's really not that hard to find your way around here. It's just... It's like you go... You keep going up. If you meet, meet a dead end, turn around, find another slope to go up. It's, it's not a terrible maze, really. Calling it maze-like is kind of... ...misleading, I guess. I was gonna say being generous, but... I mean, who the heck likes mazes? I guess some people might. But yeah, I just wanna... ...find your way around these places. Yeah, you... You didn't wanna fall down there. So, we're just gonna keep climbing up this way. Oh, except for that time I just fell down, and it wasn't good. Other than that, though, it's pretty helpful for progress. So I've calculated. By the way, did you know that you should also go up? I mean, you fall down... I've, I've also never seen that thing fall that far down when I stunned it, so that kind of amused me when that happened. Bombs keep... I'm not really sure why I keep trying to kill this guy. I guess, guess I just wanted to. just wanted him to be dead. I don't like... terrifying, fireball-dropping... prehistoric-looking flying things... anywhere. Alive. I don't. I don't feel comfortable knowing they're alive, and that kept making me angry. Is when I kept throwing the bomb straight up, even though I thought I was holding forward on the joystick. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting pretty soon because uh, there's a Kara bomb coming up, which we have to fight, which is level 25. I'm level 21. And so I'm gonna be like, I can do it at level 21. I can certainly do it. It's just a few levels. I'm sure. I'm sure he's kind of nerfed, so you can have a little leeway. You know, there's plenty of other RPGs where you can defeat enemies that are higher level than you. Let's just do it. Oh man, can I do it? I hopefully I won't have to cut and come back when I am like level 38. Oh, I, I guess I hopefully won't have to uh, grind forever and just collect a bunch of stuff. No. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm definitely not going to make a, a jump cut as soon as I fail this first round and attempt it a dozen more times with my futility prevailing. Futility prevailing, what? Yeah, I lost. Oh no. Okay. So, I ground for Carabomb feed. No, I should say grinded, but no, I'm saying I ground for Carabomb feed, because after, like, ten attempts at this, the closest I got was a tie, and I just got sick of Andlar's voice. Like, listen to the voice, it's so bad. Anybody? 
It's like their requirement for getting someone. It's like they're what who they were looking for in a voice actor was uh, just bring in someone who's already crying and just have them be a fish. All right, so yeah, <laughs> that was way too easy after I got 13 levels ahead of him. So, yeah, I'm going to use this guy for a while until we get probably the one power-up that is better than this, which won't be till the next world. So, yeah, there's a marine eel. It's, uh, I kind of loathe it a little just for the how much it makes you work to get it, but after this... Everything should be alright, because we're at level 25, and I think the next Carabomb we fight is, like, a really low level. Because it's, like, it's one the game really insists that you have. Alright, so, if you can't, if you didn't read the description, uh, what this does is it homes in on enemies. And so, that presses a button and makes the... This little ski lodge lift thing start moving around and you can do it and uh, we're gonna use this to actually well no we, we need uh, marine eel to get to this point to cross the the lift but we want to use andlar to get okay come on just make it in the gap. There we go. Now we'll be able to walk over rocks. Not gonna level him up anymore. And there's our first lightning card. I believe that's the first one we can get until we progress throughout the level. Exploring puzzles and seeing fantastic heights. So yeah, this is really useful for killing those mid-air enemies. It's a pretty useful thing in general. I don't know if I came over here last time. I, I yeah, I, I just played through the first three levels. Ugh! Excuse me, not counting the boss fight, and uh, just got like every single special in all the levels. So I'd be well equipped to fight an eel. And speaking of the boss fight, I never really mentioned. Like, what the things I was doing were to get the lightning cards, and unless you have, like, the video open in another tab where you just memorized it. I won't really d do good to explain it here, but there's... The next time I fight him, it'll probably be really fast, because there's only one left I need to get. But I figure I might as well uh, explain some of the things. You have to kind of time the, the explosions of the bombs with the boss's attacks, and one of them is, yeah, this is where I just was, one of them is you have to blow him up while he's doing the Megaton Crush, another one while he's running, another one while he's using, like, his Extendy thing, and I got one for beating him under four minutes. I think the one I didn't get was doing it while he's throwing bombs. It might be something else entirely, but I just want to mention that before... It becomes irrelevant, which it kind of is already. Oh, I missed that. That looks kind of like a uh, one of Jam Jar Silos right there, except with the blue light instead of a red or green. But Jam Jars doesn't have a rhyme for us to teach us uh, a care bomb. Okay, you don't want to go there yet. Oh, and you can also uh, you can also kick the bombs in the home in, which is really cool. Yeah, it's it's well earned. Marine eel is just gonna level him up, give him some eel food. Maybe he'll tell some bad jokes. Kind of looks like a moray eel. Is that what it is, or a big mouth eel? Okay, get some special. Get some food. Okay, wanna. Yeah, see. Now we're gonna wanna switch care bombs for this. So it's easy to blow up the fire. There we go. 
Alright. And this should be a lightning card, I believe. Yeah, there's our second one. The third one we need is right over there in the middle jar. We we need to be have a power up that'll let us handle the leaf. Right now we can't handle the leaf. We just don't know what to do with it. We don't know what to do with our bodies when we see a leaf on the ground. Can I fall? Oh yeah. Yeah, I can just fall down the waterfall. Let's see, I'll just cut until I get back to the top. Alright. Time for a little mini-boss before we fight the main boss. Jubal? Is that what it said? Tickle beans. It's kind of what it, what the little nerdy, like, gargling sounds. Tickle bean. Tickle bean. Tickle bean. Mostly just sounds like like nasally Nerd mumbling, like, oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So we, we killed all the Gauntlet Legends generators. Now we just want to kick some Homan bombs right inside y'all. And then, oh, the big king comes out. We already squash him once. Yeah, the, the big bombs don't home in. Oh. <laughs> It's just so stupidly animated. I love it though. Okay, and he stays squish. We can wipe our feet on him. And that's that level. We'll be back for the last lightning card, of course. Sucker Hills. Forgot it was called that. So weird names in this game. Alright, and this is Peon Stadium. Alright. So this is our first main boss, world boss, it's not a crush bomber. And here we go. I'm going to talk over this because there's no voice acting. Yeah, the, the, the only bosses that are, have voice acting are the crush bombers and one of the world bosses, the, like the main bosses. And I don't know what that is. Is that, like, Japanese or something? I really don't know. And is it supposed to be, like, coming out of the elephant's trunk? Because it appears at the same time as it makes it sound. So this thing is really odd looking. It's, like, purple and looks festive for some, like, renaissance thing. I don't know. It has six legs. I'm not sure why that didn't kill him or hurt him has six legs, two trunks, so... Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... This boss isn't hard, it's just, uh... It's just a pain to time, really. Just gotta... Make it blow up when it walks by. And... Uh, for the... For the big bosses... You... Uh, if you don't do it in a reasonable time... This character will show up. He's the character that we saw... We didn't really see, we just saw that he had a... a thing to say in the beginning when we were talking with Professor Ahn. He was the character that was like, we're gonna do it my way. Uh, sometimes he just walks in a weird direction. Not sure what's up with, with the path in the middle. So, let's fight this little bug. Yeah, but if, if you don't do this boss... these bosses very fast, then uh, that one guy will show up and he'll be like, what are you doing, Bomberman? And he'll throw a big bomb at the boss and it'll take away a whole heart of damage for some reason, even though our big bombs only do half a heart. And it's, it's kind of insulting, really, so you just want to do the bosses fast. Kind of. Enough, just don't worry about it too much. It'll happen, it'll happen. Ah. Stupid insect kicking legs. Just calm down. Okay, is that good? There we go. Yeah, I think once you get him to the boss to a heart and a half, then the guy will no longer show up. And, yeah, I like the music. It seems more atmospheric once you... 
once you get into a good boss arena and have a good challenge. Right now it's just kind of, we're fighting a little thing. I'm gonna do it. Alright, so he's almost dead. And the boss music speeds up once you get it down to, uh, like, a, basically a fourth of its damage. It did it at one heart there, which is a third what it had, but... Ah. But, like, we couldn't have a heart and one quarter heart. We can do that with other bosses. You can take, like, one quarter heart at a time if you want. Oh, that should have made it. Oh, well. Let's get it. Hey. Stupid. Stupid cannon things, which have, like, three holes in them for some reason. Ah. Go for it! Go for it! Okay. Ah. Uh, come on. No, don't sit down there. Alright. You little... Your trunks. Hey, don't turn around either. Ah! Stop kicking around, man. It's like... Yeah, this is what parents have to deal with. Changing their kid's diaper. I did just compare changing a baby's diaper to fighting an evil element of the bomb elements. Okay, just... This last hit is proving to be, like, taking the most time. Is it good? There we go. It's gone. Okay. So yeah, that boss is... I don't know. It is. The boss didn't have too much, too many attacks, but most of the bosses of this game, I give credit for having a lot of attacks, a lot of variety. That was just kind of it kicks, it slams, and it shoots. So we got the Kokiri Emerald, and we're gonna. Regain health. I think you only regain full health the first time you fight a boss. If you every time after you, you refight a boss, I think you just gain one heart back. So uh, fight wisely. Hi, you made it through, Bomber Man. I see you were able to retrieve one bomb element. Okay, keep up the good work and retrieve the other bomb elements too. Let's put that on the side. With regard to the carabombs that you've met and befriended, they should surely be of some help to you. Be sure to take good care of them. I'm waiting to hear good news from you, Bomber Man. I still maintain that the voice acting is not bad in this game. But I haven't had anyone tell me otherwise or affirm that, so... We'll see. So yeah, we can go to Octo Ocean. We could go to the desert. I'm gonna do Octo Ocean. Spoiler. And I uh, look forward to that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bing bang goodbye.